How do you know if something stinks? We're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. And today's show is brought to us by housecleaning360.com. Now, if you go outside this summer and you notice that the shutters on the side of your house have faded due to sun damage and the edging around the side of the door, the door frame and the rim around the outer window need to be repainted, you can find somebody that will come to your house and they will repaint those on housecleaning360.com. There are interior and exterior painters that will give the inside and the outside of your house a brand new look. So if you need a fresh coat of paint this year because Spring is here and along with spring brings all kinds of freshness. You can find that person on housecleaning360.com. On to today's question, which is from a house cleaner who has this question. Hi, Angela. My name is Brittany and I was just wondering what makes you qualified to give your opinion on the smell of vinegar. Thanks. All right. Now I was unclear by this question, whether you meant if I was qualified to give you my opinion on the smell of vinegar or if you meant people in general. So let's address the question about people in general. How do you know if something stinks? Well, if you're at a customer's house and you're using vinegar and they say that stinks, then guess what? I got news for you. It stinks. It may not stink to you, but if it stinks to the customer and that's not the smell they want in their house, you've got to find a different chemical or a different something you're going to use in order to clean their house. Now, if you get a group of thieves distributors in a room and you say that thieves, which is a cleaning product, it's an all-purpose cleaner, and you say that it stinks, they will attack you like vultures. Like, oh, my product doesn't stink, but it's subjective. Everybody has smells that they love and smells that they hate. And so you have to make a really clear distinction when you go to a customer's house that what you're cleaning with is not something that repels them. Now, there was one woman who loved pine salt. So we used pine salt in her house. Another woman said that it was very antiseptic and she didn't want that smell in her house at all. And so you have to ask each customer. And sometimes I wouldn't ask. I mean, but if you're using something and the customer's like, what is that? That stinks. Well, then it stinks to them. So don't use it. But what qualifies somebody to say that something stinks is their own personal opinion. There are no tests that you take. There are no standards in the industry about something that smells nice and something that doesn't smell nice. There are scents that are more accepted than others. Like citrus is more accepted than other smells like sage, for example, or maybe you have lavender. Lavender is a scent that is accepted more than maybe something like cloves. So it just really depends on personal preference. Now it's like saying, how do you know something tastes good to somebody that something tastes delicious? There are other people that are like, I'm not having that. And so it's all personal preference. So if you're having a house cleaning business and you're choosing products, and some are strong in scent, be prepared for a customer to say, not doing that. That just ugh, doesn't work for me. All right. It doesn't work for you. What would you prefer we use in its place? And then you can find, and the good news about cleaning products is there are a lot of varieties that are similar that will do similar things. So you find a quick replacement and you move on and you think nothing more of it. And you make a note on the customer's page and you just say, when I come back, don't use vinegar. The end. It's simple. We don't spend a lot of time dwelling on it. If a customer thinks vinegar stinks, it stinks. All right, that's my two cents for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.